Hi, it's Derek from Tomcat Gas Training and welcome to this video on this. So we're going to be looking at notching and drilling joists to the regulations. So, let's get on with it then. Now, first thing we need to worry about when we're notching and drilling joists is it comes under building control. So if you don't do it correctly, you won't get your building control certificate and they won't pass it off. So whether you're a plumber, electrician, or a gas engineer, or a general builder, and you want to notch a joist, these are the measurements you need to be worrying about. Now the first thing we need to look at is, is the joist able to be notched or drilled? So if we look here, joists less than 100 millimeters deep must not be notched. So, if they're less than 100 mil, you can't notch them. Now, what about the length? Well, I've got a chart here, which tells you about the length of the joists and how thick they should be for the span you're working with. So, if you need to notch, say, a waste pipe going through a joist for a shower, and the joists aren't big enough, then you're gonna to need to increase the joist. So this chart here, hopefully, will help you with that. Now then, let's have a look at the regulations first for this notching of the joist before we look at drilling. So the main things we need to look at is, first bit here. Now, we're not allowed to put a notch in a joist in the first 7% of the span. So the span we've got here is three meters or 3,000 millimeters. So we're not allowed to put any notches in the first 0.07 of the span. Next one we need to look at is, we cannot go any further than 0.25, the length of the span or 25%. So we have this green zone where we can notch either side of the joist. Now the danger zone in the middle, we can't notch there. So if we look at this measurements for these here, and we'll look down here. So if we look at A first, so all we have to do to work this out is take the 0.07 times it by our length, and it gives us a measurement in millimeters. So 0.07 times 3000 equals 210 mil. So the first 210 mil, we can't put a notch in there. Now, look at B, 0.25, our maximum length. So 0.25 times 3000 is 750 millimeters. So those figures mean that our green section here, from 210 mil from the wall out to 750 mil on the length, is where we can notch. Now I've produced another chart here for you to look at, so depending on the length will depend on the green section from these measurements here. So that's the zones where we can notch. Let's have a look how deep we can do these notches. Now when it comes to this depth, we can actually go 0.125 the depth of the joist, or 12.5% of the joist depth. Not thickness, depth. So if we've got a joist that's 200 millimeters deep, again we do 0.125 times 200 is 25 mil. So we could make a notch 25 millimeters deep for the size of our pipe. So basically we could fit 15 millimeter pipe comfortably, but 22 millimeter pipe, we're gonna be a bit tight. And 28 mil, we can't fit at all. And 35, not a chance. But remember I told you we cannot notch joists less than 100 mil, but if you do have 100 mil joists, or just over 100 mil, our maximum depth is only 12.5 millimeters. So you won't be able to put 15 mil in that either. 
And again, I've produced a chart here so you can see what the maximum depth you can make the notch depending on the actual depth of the joist. So, that's notching joists. Let's have a look at drilling holes in the joist. Now, these limits for drilling joists are slightly different than our notches. Let's have a look. So the first thing in our green zone is we need to be more than 0.25 the length of the joist away from the wall, or 25% this time. And we can't go more than 0.4 the length or 40% of the length of the span. And then we've still got our danger zone in the middle. So that's our green zone. Now a couple of other things. Now first of all, number one here, holes no closer than three times the diameter of the hole when you're making them. We'll have a look at the hole sizes in a minute. So that's the first one. The second one here, number two, is a minimum of 100 mil between a notch and a hole. So from the edge of the notch to the edge of the hole has to be more than 100 mil between them. The last thing is the holes have to be in the center of the joist. Not to the top, not to the bottom. They have to be smacking the center of the joist. So that's our limitations on drilling joists. Let's finish off by having a look at hole sizes we can put in joists. So like I just said, let's now have a look at the maximum size holes we can make in these joists. Now the first one we can see here, the maximum diameter hole we can make is 65 millimeters. So even if your joist could take a bigger hole than 65 mil, that's the maximum size you can put in. The next thing is, it must be no greater than 0.25 or 25% of the depth of the joist, not the thickness, the depth. So let's have a look at our example. First of all, we can see here, our joist is 200 millimeters deep. And we've drilled our holes in the center of the joist like they say we have to. So, first one, we'll look at number one here. So if they say it's 0.25 of the depth, we do 0.25 times the 200, gives us a whole maximum hole size of 50 millimeters. That means the biggest hole we can put in is 50 mil. If we needed to put a 50 millimeter pipe in there, we don't need to put a 50 mil hole in there. That's the maximum size we can put in. Now, if we are putting a 15 mil pipe in, what is the size of the hole we're going to put in? Well, I always say allow about 4 millimeters to 5 millimeter bigger than the hole you require. And that will make it easier for the pipe to slide in. And also allow for expansion if it's a hot pipe or a central heating one. So, that's the maximum size, remember. Okay, look at number two. So we said our hole diameters have to be three times the hole size diameter apart. So if we have got a 50 millimeter hole, we times 50 by three gives us 150 mil center to center. So that's how far every one of them would need to be. But remember, that would still need to be in the green zone, not in our red zones. Now let's quickly look at I-beams because I-beams are becoming uh, very popular now in new builds. Two basic types of I-beam, we've got a closed web and an open web. So let's have a look at the closed web. Because the open web, you can pretty much just pass your pipe through and you just don't notch the flanges top and bottom or drill the top and bottom. Anyway, let's have a look. So we have a side view here so you know what they are. Basically, we've got a flange, top and bottom, with a web in the middle. Like I say, you can't do anything with the flanges. You can't drill and notch them or anything like that. But in the web, you can pretty much put your hole wherever you want, bar a few exceptions. So first of all, it says no rectangular holes. 
because if you do a rectangular hole, it could split in the corners and it's not strong. Whereas if you've got a circle, it's strong. <laughs> anyway, no rectangular holes. Now when you do put circular holes in and they are different size holes, then you need to leave two diameters of the largest holes apart and you need to be at least six millimeters up from the bottom or the top of the web. Okay, other than that, you can pretty much put your holes wherever you like. You could even pass a soil stack through there as long as it's deep enough. It's engineered. A lot of them have cutouts for you to just pass your wires and pipes through anyway. So that's a quick look at I-beams. Let's just recap about notches. Now, notches should only be made in the top edge of the joist. But, they do say so now that you can notch the top and the bottom of a joist, but you can't do both at the same time. So you either notch the top of the joist, or you notch the bottom of the joist. Me personally, I would never notch the bottom of a joist because I've seen what happens to joists when they do get notched. But now according to the regulations, if you notch them top or bottom in the green zone, it should be fine. But remember, not together. Remember, these notches should be no more than 0.125 the depth of the joist. Remember the charts? and they should be no closer to the supporting wall than 0.07 and no further away than 0.25, the span of the joist. So that's the recap on the notches. Let's have a look at drilling the holes. Now remember, these holes need to be drilled in the center of the joists with a diameter of no bigger than 65 millimeters even if the joist can take more. Additional holes in the joist must be more than three times the hole diameter, centre to centre. And the diameter of the hole must be no more than 0.25 the depth of the joist. It should be no closer to 0.25 the length of the joist to the support and no further away than 0.4 of the length of the joist. And if you can't meet any of these standards, then you must increase the size of the joist till you can. And that's the end of this video on drilling and notching joists. So if you've enjoyed this video, why don't you give me the thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If you've not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe because it helps. But don't forget to hit that notification bell because you want YouTube to tell you when we're uploading videos because I've got no clue. Anyway, all I've got left to say is, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers.